Thank you very much, Rob. And uh, it's an absolute pleasure to be in Radoc today. I have a uh, little bit of history with this county. Uh, some of you may be aware of it. That predates my uh, my time as an elected representative. Uh, some interesting history. You know, we often think that change happens through the efforts and the works of others, or change happens because of good fortune or, or misfortune. I can tell you, we have seen change in this province. Saw a change last fall when Rob Ford won the election in Toronto. Completely took everybody by surprise that Rob Ford won. We saw just a very short period Time ago, back on May 2nd, I think the date was, a huge and sea change federally as our conservative, uh, <laughs> conservative cousins swept the land and has a majority government. The change, the winds of change are blowing and they're blowing strong, but they blow when people get involved and when people make those changes happen. That's what's going to happen in October of this year. Change, much needed change in this province. And it's not someone else who's going to do it. It's the people who are right here in this room. Your friends, your neighbors, your sons and daughters, yourselves. Your efforts will make the change happen. And I'll tell you, we are in sorely big need of change in this province. We've become just about paralyzed in this province to get a lot severed off your farm, to get a home built, to get a business going, to drive a truck down the road. Government has regulated us to such a degree that we have lost our opportunities and our economic prosperity. It wasn't that long ago, and it's been this way throughout history, that Ontario has always been the economic powerhouse of this confederation. We were economic kings, the greatest and most prosperous province in this country. Up until 2009, when we became a have-not province. The first time in our history that we started relying on welfare payments from Ottawa because of Dalton McGinty's policies. I'm not prepared to have Ontario as Canada's economic caboose. And I don't think anybody in Hastings, Prince Edward, is either. We want to have jobs. We want to have prosperity. We want to have the good things that come from prosperity. The social safety nets that we uh, think so highly of and desire requires prosperity. We can't have prosperity and a nanny state in the same breath. And that's what we have in this province. Dog McGinty and half a million laws. Bureaucracy and government has creeped into our lives to such an extent it is damaging our economy. I look forward to that, to those winds of change coming through Prince Edward Hastings. Don't let them stop in Toronto or in federal government. We need to make it happen here in our province, and we need to make it happen here in Prince Edward Hastings with Todd Smith. Thank you very much.